In the tranquil mountains, nestled away from the chaos of the world, there lived a monk named Yashin. Known for his unwavering dedication to his spiritual path, Yashin was admired by all who knew him. But little did they know that a shocking reversal awaited him, one that would challenge everything he believed in. Yashin was content with his life. He had devoted himself to the monastery, seeking enlightenment and inner peace. His days were filled with meditation, prayer, and selfless service to others. Every day, Yashin would rise before dawn, ready to serve his fellow monks and the community. His dedication was unmatched, and his compassionate heart touched the lives of everyone he met. Villager One, have you heard about the village at the bottom of the mountain? They are in dire need of help. Villager Two, yes, they are suffering from a severe drought. Their crops are failing, and the people are desperate. Yashin couldn't ignore the plight of the villagers. He felt a deep calling to assist them in their time of need. However, his monastic vows prevented him from leaving the monastery. Yashin was torn between his commitment to his spiritual path and his desire to alleviate the suffering of others. His heart was heavy with the weight of this internal struggle. Seeking guidance, Yashin turned to his fellow monks, seeking their wisdom and advice. They reminded him of the importance of his spiritual journey and encouraged him to stay true to his calling. One stormy night, as Yashin sat in meditation, a blinding bolt of lightning struck a tree outside the monastery. The ground shook beneath him, and a powerful surge of energy coursed through his being. In that moment, everything changed for Yashin. The lightning had jolted him awake, shattering his internal conflict and illuminating a new path before him. Yashin, now filled with a newfound purpose, knew what he had to do. He packed a bag with essential supplies and quietly left the monastery, setting off on a journey to the drought-stricken village. Yashin arrived at the village, greeted by weary faces and hopeful eyes. He wasted no time and began teaching the villagers sustainable farming methods, using his knowledge of water conservation and soil restoration. Yashin worked side by side with the villagers, breaking the barriers between them. The once barren fields started to bloom again, and a renewed sense of hope filled the air. As the days turned into months, Yashin's efforts bore fruit. The villagers' lives improved. I'll be happy to watch video. Don't forget to subscribe to your channel to stay updated on your future content.